Hey, thanks for stopping by the Sabbath Rest Magazine. And we are excited. This is our first month. Uh, we just got accepted into the Apple App Store. And for those that know the process, you have to get accepted into the Apple App Store before you can do any business. And so we submitted our magazine in December, and it took them about a month over the Christmas break. They were off, and they got us accepted in. So the Sabbath Rest Magazine, what is it? The Sabbath Rest Magazine is all about encouraging Sabbath keepers all over the world. There's no one denomination. There's no denomination affiliation, but it is focused on worldwide Sabbath keeping. We want everybody in the world uh, to keep Sabbath, to set aside a day that they can focus on God. And I can't help but think back to the time that our country truly had a focus on the Lord. A lot of things were right then, a lot of things were wrong then, but, you know, I think back to our last revivals, and there was some distinct differences between then and now, and one of those things is, is that they believed in the commandments of God. They believed that there was a Sabbath day of rest, where they did no commerce, where they did, um, you know, they did rest, they didn't uh, do the things of their own, Uh, they didn't open up their business, they didn't go to restaurants, and they believed in the commandments of God, and one of those commandments of God is Sabbath. And so you look back then at the last revivals that we had at the beginning of the 1900s, uh, I think of D.L. Moody and, and um, you know, some of the people I'm more familiar with. They actually believed that there was a Sabbath day rest. Think back to the Chariots of Fire, that whole movie that talked about the 1924 Olympics with Eric Liddell. Um, very interesting. Uh, here's a guy that believed that there was a Sabbath, no doubt about it. He believed there was a Sabbath. And he would celebrate Sabbath on Sunday. I personally celebrate Sabbath on on Saturday, uh, Friday evening, Saturday, uh, until sunset, uh, as God said. But here's the point. Whether you, you believe Sabbath rest should be on Sunday or Saturday, here's the point. It's a day with God. Not a day to go to the movies. Not a day to go to, um, you know, out to eat. It's, it's a day with God. It's a day set aside for God. It's a day that we can pray. And granted, we can pray every day and we should be. But God said, at least set aside this day for me. So kind of in that spirit, kind of in those efforts, we've created the Sabbath Rest Magazine. And we've reached out to authors um, such as uh, Yara C. Young, who wrote, Oh No, It's Sabbath and I'm Not Ready Yet. And she's writing articles for our magazine uh, in order to help Sabbath keepers all over the world um, focus on God. And then we've got Lee Givens, who's, who's doing a Sabbath poem, talking about why Sabbath is still for today, why Sabbath hasn't been done away with. And then Jim Staley talks from a biblical perspective on why Sabbath is for today. And we also have Terry Carpenter, who goes into a Bible study as to the significance of Sabbath for us. And so this whole magazine is, is here to encourage people in their Sabbath keeping. Now, it's not only that, though. It goes beyond that. It's just amazing. As you choose to support this magazine, here's what's happening. We just started. We just got accepted last Friday, last week, and that was January 11th. Friday, January 11th. And the surprising, shocking thing to me personally as we've done this magazine is that it has made it into places like communist China. It has made it into other communist countries. It's made it from South Africa all the way up to the Netherlands and over to uh, Japan and United States and, and in Brazil. It's already being downloaded in all these places. This magazine, through the Apple App Store, is able to make an impact all over the world. So when you come alongside, and if you were to decide today to, uh, to try out our free mag, we give away a free episode or a free issue, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But whenever you choose to, to read the magazine, to support the magazine, you're actually helping to reach people all over the world with this message. So if Sabbath is your passion, if Sabbath is one of your passions, as it is mine, you can actually help us reach the world with the message that God has is that I have a day set aside for you to get me, you know, for you to get to know me better, 
for you to set aside a day and read my word to pray which is the most important thing to get to know the heart of God um, that's the things that Sabbath is about I believe and so let me tell you um, uh, the offer that I'm trying to get across to you today is that if you click the link below you will go and be able to download the app now there's two steps here you download the app and newsstand and let me just show you what that looks like real quick um, bring up my iPad and just uh, uh, show you that so let me show you what it would look like in the newsstand and so some of you may have been looking at this little bookshelf and never known what it was about well this is called newsstand and so we click on it here and you can see I have a few magazines and I'm gonna click on Sabbath rest magazine and it pops up and this is our magazine so there's two steps you download the app which is free no charge and then you can download one of our free episodes which are coming within the next few days from this recording or you can you can subscribe to the magazine and there's or, 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 or buy an episode but if you subscribe it's two ninety nine a month it will be billed automatically to get the magazine or if you buy a issue uh, you could you'll pay four ninety nine. It's a little more expensive. Uh, we're trying to give people a good deal if they subscribe. Just make it easier for them. But here's what the the magazine is about. You can kind of get a look. We we talk about how to navigate. If you press and hold here, um, you can see the chapters down below. And uh, that's a boring page. And then just a message from me. But let's get to the interesting stuff here. Uh, we have the table of contents and as you can see we have all kinds of writers from all over the country uh, here in the United States we are seeking to reach out to people all over the world and have them come in and just talk about their Sabbath experience and then as we go in here some of the most popular writers on Sabbath are on our magazine already um, Lisa uh, G here has people from all over the world over 5,000 people following her weekly post about Sabbath and she writes a blog uh, when about whenever other people ask you about Sabbath what could you say and so she has uh, that Terry Carpenter does an in-depth Bible study as to why Sabbath is for us still today and then Yara she's written the book oh no it's Sabbath and I'm not ready yet and she tells us why it's so important to be gathering around the table and that includes Sabbath gathering around the table and eating together as a family it's a great article very convicting for those of us uh, that may like the TV on at times during the week um, moving on here I don't know if you know Jim Staley uh, but Jim Staley is a, is a passionate preacher about the commandments of God about uh, he's a Hebraic root teacher and um, he teaches a message on and he rested uh, should Christians keep the Sabbath? And so we bro we have broken this up into three parts. This is one out of three uh, right here. And so uh, spoken word. Now notice we're importing YouTube videos. So you don't have to go some other place uh, to get these videos. It's right in the magazine. Very convenient. And this poem is just incredible. He is a, this young man, I got to talk to him over the phone and, and, um, uh, I was listening to his testimony and he was telling me about how he would open up for uh, for different or other bands. He's a rapper and at a young age he gave that up so he could serve God, go door to door, witness to people and stuff. He gave that all up so they could serve God and, and so he uses his talent to get across kind of in a spoken word uh, Sabbath poem is what it is and uh, you might have seen somebody some people do this style of uh, of speaking and stuff it's very entertaining but it, the message in it most important is just powerful um, and we've we've written it out there so you can read along with him if you wanted to we have recipes uh, for Sabbath I know some of you just beginning Sabbath um, are wanting recipes uh, th that will make it easy for Sabbath and so we've got we've got a f one here now and we're asking for people to, to give us more uh, so that people will be able to um, quickly do their Sabbath meals to be able to put their Sabbath meals out there without a lot of work because Friday can be overwhelming if you're preparing for Sabbath and so that's the goal and then uh, we have an invitation to submit uh, recipes there but here's a, the last part of the magazine um, is we'd ask you to subscribe you know uh, to support the magazine so that we can get it out to more people all over the world and so 
that's what I'm here to say right now. I've got a link. So look right below this video. There will be a link to the Apple iStore. Um, so if you have an iPad, click on the link below and it will take you to the Apple Store and you can download the free app there. Make sure you get, and, and this is what I want to tell you too, when you subscribe, we give you a free 30 days. Now, why that's important is that it's not just one issue that you get. You're going to get the current issue, but you're also going to get the next issue for free. For 30 days, you have it free. And uh, so you'll, you'll have access to those magazines. So you'll be able to subscribe today, no charge today, and it's a free month. And then you'll get the first episode, but not only that, you'll get the next episode that's coming out really soon. And we also have, we're working on right as we speak, a free uh, issue. Now, um, this issue coming up, if I could just give you a sneak peek at it. Um, this young lady right here, her name is Abigail Smith. And she is a friend of ours, um, uh, of my family's. And and we did not know a lot, whole lot about her story. And she wrote one day an incredible Facebook message and we found out that she had terminal cancer. But what struck me the most is her spirit about it. She says, you know what, I'm just resting in the Lord. And I thought, you know, uh, I began to pray, God, this is, is exactly what Sabbath is about. No matter what stage in life we are, what day of the week, we're learning to rest in you. And so we... Um, you know, got together with uh, her brothers are actually uh, they traveled all over the country doing uh, shooting films. And I got with them and and we decided that we would, you know, do an interview with Abigail and just see how it's going and to see what it means to her to have what it means to her to rest in the Lord. And so we did that interview. We're gonna, That's a free issue. I mean, we don't you know, we're not here to make any money on that, but it's it's encouraging you. Um, to rest in the Lord. It was our whole goal. And I tell you, it's hitting me in the face of terminal cancer. Could I extend myself? To, could I give myself to resting in the Lord? And, and that's the question we pose, and, and that's the question I pose to you. So you get to hear, hear I mean, just in days, we're going to have that up, and uh, it'll be available for free if you have the app, and we'll give you a little post. If you download the app, we're able to send a little notification that says, hey, the, the issue with Abigail's coming out, download that now. And so that'll be available here in just a few days. And so, guys, get the issue. Uh, subscribe so that it'll help advance this magazine into other countries all over the world and take advantage of this free month where you can actually, it looks like you might be able to get three episodes for, I mean, three issues for free. Um, the one that's currently there, the December issue, January issues coming out at the end of the month, and then this free issue with Abigail Smith so you can you can see her heart for the Lord. Guys, thanks for listening to me here. I'll talk to you soon.